Hello and welcome to another L'Amour in Christ video. Is it possible to be blocking someone else's blessing? I'm going to go ahead and share a couple of stories and then we're going to figure out is that really a thing? Okay, go ahead and keep watching. God is the father that I never knew I had. God simply is everything. God is faithful. God is my strength. God is always the answer. God is a promise keeper. God, God is, is very, very powerful. powerful. God is my wonderful counselor. God is compassionate to me. God is perfect. Love. God is love. You may have a lot of questions about your walk with God, so let's talk about it. Hello everyone, I'm Kaitia Lamore. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I have a couple of stories, two stories, a couple is two. I <laughs> have two stories about potentially blocking someone else's blessing or what God kind of told me about the danger of blocking someone else's blessing getting in the way. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So a while ago, I did mention this a little bit in my How I Found My Purpose video and How I Found Success on YouTube in the same year where there were some things that God had me let go of in order to bless me in the new assignment in the new season of my life. So one of those things that I needed to do was let go of a freelance writing job that I had. I wrote for a website called Project Inspired, which is focused on helping teen Christian girls with their walk with God, and it was amazing. It was a wonderful season that I was able to do that for. And then when God had me focus on my YouTube channel, after a couple months, he was saying, like, you need to let go of this job. At that time, I wasn't getting any revenue from YouTube. I wasn't really getting any revenue from anywhere except for, like, freelance photography. I was doing graduation portraits and family portraits as a photographer. I did some side modeling jobs, but nothing was like consistent. Even though this freelance writing job paid me $100 a month, I was like, I can count on that $100 a month. Like, this is my money, you know, that I want for myself. <clears throat> and also, I wanted to have income to contribute to the household. So all of these things were working in my mind when I was telling the Lord, like, no, <laughs> like, this is all I have this is all I have right now, like I don't want to give that up. Maybe when my money comes in from YouTube, you know, you know how we try to negotiate with God, which is like ridiculous because he knows uh, the plan already. So I'm sitting there negotiating with the Lord and it took me one month, two months, three months until finally I was like, okay, I see that my season here is over, um, but it was so hard to let go. And one thing that he told me, he was like, what's to say you're not in the way of this job going to someone else who needs it. Like someone else is waiting on you to let go of this so that they can have this opportunity. Remember when you got this opportunity and you were so glad and I was like, yes, I was very glad. And I was very grateful and very relieved when this opportunity came to me. So if I'm blocking someone else by taking my time, then how is that okay? So I remember writing to them and that was like the final push that I needed because it wasn't just about me. A lot of decisions that we make are not just about us. A lot of things that we do affect plenty of other people for good or for bad. So for me, I was like, okay, it's not just about me anymore. It's not just about my needs. And also I need to trust God that he's gonna provide for me. So I let that go and I had peace about it because I'm like, I'm not letting this company down by saying that I can't do this anymore. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just following the Lord. And I hope, you know, and pray that they find someone else who needs this right now, who needs this opportunity, not just the money, but like this outlet um, to be helping people, to be, you know, ministering to their hearts, you know, like it's a big deal to, to step in and be helping people in such an intimate way for the Lord. <laughs> So I let that go and immediately after that I started to see revenue coming in from my YouTube channel. And it wasn't about the money, none of this is about like, oh my opportunities are like, oh you need to do this so you can get more money. It's not about that, it's about being obedient and about not standing in the way. And the second experience that I had was pretty recently. So I got a phone call from a company that I work with and they were like, hey, we want you to do this event. We want you to get coverage of it. And this is what it's gonna be like. And I remember being on the phone and they showed me the date or they told me about the dates and I was gonna be out of town. And first off, first off, I didn't even wanna do this thing. I was like, I know this makes sense for me, but I just feel like 
not to do it. I feel like a strong urge to not do this thing. And fortunately, I was going to be out of town, so I could just say, oh no, like I can't, because um, I won't be around. And they're like, okay, like that's fine. Thanks for letting us know. And I remember though, even on the phone, in this brief phone call, me saying I'm out of town, and I just felt very kind of caught off guard, like what do I say, what do I do? Okay, I'm out of town, that's the answer. But even while they were talking to me, I was thinking like, this other woman that I know that they work with would be perfect. She would be perfect for this. Like, I feel like this is for her. I don't know, but it's out of my hands. <laughs> it's, on to the, it's up to them to find someone else. So I remember being out of town and I saw this event coverage that this other woman was getting. And even though I knew it wasn't for me, even though I knew that this was for her, I was still like, oh man, like what if I messed up? What if this was supposed to be for me? Because if you've ever had a day in life, you know, you'll know that doubt comes in when you make decisions sometimes. So for me, it's like, even though I knew, like for sure, for sure not to do it and who it was for, I still felt like missing out. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. Look at how fun this event is, like blah, blah, blah. And then, but also at the same time, I was relieved. I was like, oh, I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> so it's like, it's interesting, like that battle of the mind where the enemy comes in with his lies and you have to battle it with the truth. So the truth is, I know I'm not supposed to be there. I'm, I'm relieved that I'm not there. I know it wasn't for me. And she's doing like a great job. So months go by, because I wasn't thinking about it, because it like didn't need to be like thought about anymore. But I remember just looking up and being like, I wonder what certain people are up to. Sometimes I'll do that just to see, like, oh, what is this person up to? What is their career like? What's their family? How's their new baby? So I'll just kind of like scroll through and see like, oh, they're doing good and they did this. So I went to this particular woman who covered this event. I went to her Instagram page and I found a post that she made from that day. Um, from the day that she covered the event and she was like God is so good like this is answered prayer she's like I've been prophesied over for like this very thing like this is something that I've been believing for for a very long time and it finally came and like she's just shouting out all these people like thank you so and so for believing in me thank you so and so for coaching me thank you so and so for mentoring me thank you for praying for me thank you for your prophecy and it was just like all this stuff where I was just like oh my gosh like this was a big moment in her life like God may have been able to work around me maybe they would be like oh we decided to go with so-and-so instead like I don't really know what would have happened if I said yes or he could have made an opportunity but the main thing is do you want God to have to finagle all these things together in order to come back around, you know, and bless you or bless someone else? Or do you want to be obedient and do what you're supposed to do and stay in your lane? Say yes to things you're supposed to be saying yes to even if you're scared. Say no to things you're supposed to say no to even if you're doubting it. The main point is to stay where God is blessing you and to hear from him clearly if you don't know how to hear God's voice um, it's taken me like it was a process of years and years and years for me um, but I did make a video about how to hear God's voice clearly I will link that up there but it was a process of me figuring things out a lot of it was trial and error a lot of it was making mistakes but now I'm it, at the point where I know this is the Lord this is not the Lord and this is just me you know thinking stuff so Make sure that you are keeping God a priority in hearing his voice and being obedient to him and knowing his will for your life and understanding that because you don't want to be a person who's like, I don't want to leave this job and, and you don't even know that there's this great thing over here. You know that, I think it's like, I don't know if it'd be a meme or I guess it's like a post, I don't know, but it's like this illustration where there's a little girl holding this raggedy teddy bear and then God has a new one. It's bigger and better and shinier behind his back and he and she, God is like, like, give that to me. And she's like, but I love it, you know, but I need it, Lord. And he's like, I have this for you and you don't even know it. So like, not only could you be blocking your own blessings for a while, you could be getting in the way where somebody's like, God, I'm calling out to you. Like, where, when is this opportunity going to come? Or like, you promised this or I'm believing for that and you said it was going to happen and I don't know and I can't see you, I can't hear you. So when we're doing what we need to do, we're making God's job a lot easier so that he doesn't have to put all these things into position and I know that there's the scripture too that says God works out everything um, let me actually <laughs> let me actually read it Romans 8 28 and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose so Romans that's Romans 8 28 and 29 
So, God, <laughs> that was loud. So, God can work everything out for your favor, but it doesn't mean to do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it. There are plenty of scriptures that talk about submitting your will to the Lord, that he orders your steps, that he is a lamp unto your feet, that you need to be praying and seeking him for his will for your life. So by doing that, you're helping his blessings to manifest. You're helping yourself to progress and to not be stunted if you're willing to learn the lessons when they need to be learned like things move a lot faster and also you're helping other people because you could just be in a position that you need to move from so someone else can step into it's like I feel like life is like this revolving door <laughs> like you're not really in one place at one time at least for me in my life it doesn't seem like things are just like this is a job you're gonna have for 50 years and this is a house you're gonna live in for 50 years like things are constantly moving depending on what God needs to do in each different season so let's keep seeking the Lord in things and also remember um, this came to mind too when I was thinking about this where there's a lot of people who are just like oh everything that I've ever gone through in life are things that led me to this they helped me to be who I am like if I hadn't gone through this if I hadn't gone through that no sometimes we're just out of God's will sometimes things just happen and um, I have a video about that too, about does everything really happen for a reason? So you can say like, oh, it doesn't matter what I do, because if I, God is gonna make it happen. Like God is gonna work around me. He's gonna, you know, make, he's gonna force his way and he's gonna intervene. But we are people and we have a choice to follow God. We have free will. So we can make our lives easier or harder. We can make other people's lives easier or harder. So let's get out of that whole mindset of like, oh everything happens for a reason everything led me to this everything I was supposed to do blah blah it's like no if you're not in the will of God stuff is just gonna happen um, but if God is allowed into your life if you allow him into your life he can do some amazing wonderful miraculous life changing things let's trust him let's put our trust in him so I do want to pray before I finish and wrap up so that we can cover all of this in his blessing and so let's go ahead and do that all right, Lord, I thank you for reminding us that you have a purpose, that you have a plan. And I just pray for everyone who is watching right now, speaking of this subject of being afraid to move on or being afraid that we made the wrong choice after we listened to you, having the doubts, having the battle of the mind, not knowing what to do, how to move forward, how to move back. If we're in the right position, I pray that there's clarity. Please, Lord, give them clarity of where they're supposed to be. If they're afraid to move forward, help them. Give them more signs and more confirmation. I'm with you. Yes, this is me. Yes, this is my voice. Yes, this is my will. Do this. Or if they're afraid and they just want to run away from a situation, they want to leave this job, they want to leave this family or whatever, and you're like, no, I need you to stay here because there's a purpose for you. Please help us to be in line with your will, to do what we need to do to stay in your presence to stay in line with your hedge and your protection and your purpose for us lord god please help them to know um, what it is that you require of them help them god to, to trust you um, help to heal their hearts where there's been times where they're like god you weren't there and god you let this happen please show them where you were in those moments please show them how much you care for them please show them in a new and refreshing way how you are in the details of their lives please help them to surrender i pray against that anxiety and that fear and needing control and insecurities that they might have um, that are keeping them in certain situations please help them to be free truly free in the name of jesus and i pray all this in jesus name amen all right you guys that's all i have for today thank you so much if you learned anything go ahead and leave it down in the comments if you have examples of times where you have been holding on to something and god is like let this go it's not for you this season is over any of that stuff share your testimonies and you're encouraging life events that have happened for you if you have questions go ahead and ask them down there i'm gonna be here on this channel so go ahead and subscribe because I'm not going anywhere. I may take a break every once in a while, but I come back. <laughs> this is a great, amazing medium for me to share God's love. So I do talks about God and what he's doing in my life. I also talk about lifestyle issues, not issues, lifestyle things, vlogs, 
hair, makeup, beauty, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell just in case YouTube decides they want to actually notify you. That'd be cool. And also if you want to keep videos like this coming, if you want to partner with me to keep the gospel going out there, you can go ahead and buy my merchandise. I have t-shirts and I have designs on laptops, phone cases, wall art, all kinds of stuff. Also, you can donate from my secure PayPal link. That is in the description box too. Thank you for every single person who has been there for me in any form. Some of you I may never hear from. Some of you have given donations, but it all amounts to an amazing um, gratitude that I have for you guys. So thank you for being a part of this community. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. How's this? How's this? Alrighty then.